Have you ever heard the name Titanic Thompson? Probably not. Titanic Thompson was an interesting character and uh, he was a gambler, but he was also a fantastic golfer. He was a con man. He used to come up with all sorts of ways to hustle people. It was said that uh, he was an incredible shot with a gun. It was also said that he could throw a key into a keyhole from three or four yards. So he was quite incredible. But golf was his game. Golf was the game he loved. And he used to travel around America and hustle people. And uh, one story I loved about Titanic Thompson was uh, they were driving a truck of watermelons. And he was on his way to play cards. And he saw this truck of watermelons and he stopped the drive and he said, listen, he said, I'll give you $100 for those watermelons. The truck driver said, you've got a deal. So he said, but there are a couple of conditions. He said, the first condition, we've got to count them. So they counted them, there are 372. And then he said, right, the second condition is that exactly 12 o'clock, I want you to drive this truck down the main street of this little town. Truck driver said, I'll do that. And he said, for that, I'll give you an extra $100. Well, off he went to go and play cards in the morning. And uh, at uh, exactly 5 to 12, he said to them, all the card players he was playing with, he said, listen, let's take a break. Let's go downstairs and have a cup of coffee and a smoke. And they all went downstairs. And as they got down there, there came this truck. And Titanic Thompson looked at this truck and he looked at these guys and he said, he said, tell you what, boys. He said, I'll bet you that I can guess exactly how many watermelons are in that truck. The guy said, not a chance. Well, of course, they started betting. And the bets got up to hundreds and hundreds of dollars, many more hundreds than he'd promised this driver. And he stopped the driver and he said to the driver, he said, I'll tell you what, Mr. Driver, he said, I'll give you $100 to count these watermelons on the truck. The truck driver said, sure, counted them. And uh, of course he guessed 372 and there were still 372, so he won all the money. Those are the sort of things that Titanic Thompson did. And the story I want to tell you is about golf. He arrived at this golf course and at the 18th green he saw there was a little stream that ran across the front of the green. And he looked at this for a while and he thought, I've got a plan here. And he used to travel with a little dog and he went and got hundreds and hundreds of little pebbles and he scratched an X on every one of them and he threw them into this one particular area of this little little stream that, that ran past the 18th green. And uh, the next morning he went and set up a table quite close to that area and some chairs around it and eventually some people came and joined him. They were drinking tea and coffee and uh, he identified the one guy that was sitting at the table as the perfect pigeon. He was just ready to be plucked. And Titanic, Titanic Thompson said to him, he said, listen, he said, you see this dog here? This dog is so clever. If you throw a stone into that little stream, this dog will go and fetch that exact stone. The guy said, well, how do I know it's the same stone? He said, why don't you just scratch an X on it? The guy said, that sounds like a good idea. Scratch an X on it, they bet $100. He threw the stone into the river. A few minutes later, of course, this dog came out with a stone that had an X on it. First $100 this guy lost to Titanic. Then he made a fatal mistake. He said to Titanic Thompson, he said, you play golf? Titanic said, I do. Titanic said, what's your handicap? He said, my handicap's seven. He said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you seven shots on your home course. Let's go and play. The guy said, you're gonna give me seven shots? You don't know the course. I know the course, my home course. Right, let's go. Got on the first tee, took a couple of practice swings and off they went. After a round, they're sitting in a bar. This guy says to Titanic, he said, you know that bloody dog? That's what started all the trouble here, eh? It was the first $100 you took off me. Then you bet me that you could give me seven shots. You just waltzed around my home course in a 67. Never mind you won the game. You won a press and a buy. So you're now $400 up on me. He said, but you know what? That was lucky. I want to play you again tomorrow. Titanic said, sure, I'll see you tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock on the tee. 8 o'clock they arrived on the tee. There's Titanic waiting for him. And as he guy walks up close, he sees that Titanic's holding a left-handed driver. He said, so what's with the left-handed driver? He said, listen, he said, you know, really, I took so much money off you yesterday, I thought today I'll give you a chance. I'm gonna give you seven shots again, but I'll play you left-handed. <laughs> I said, you're gonna give me seven shots and play me left-handed? He said, this I've got to see. He said, right, let's go and play. Off they go. Four hours later, they're in the bar. Guy looks at that little dog, and he says, that bloody little dog, that's what started all the trouble there. He says, yesterday you shot 67, you took, $400 off me. He said, I thought I'd play double or quits today. 
he said, when I saw that driver on the first tee was left-handed, he said, I thought I had you today. He said, but you will still run another 67. He said, but tell me, Titanic, how do you do it? He said, how do you play left-handed, right-handed, just as, as good as each other? How do you decide whether you're going to play left or right-handed? He said, well, it's easy out the way I decide. He says, if I wake up in the morning, my wife is lying on her right-hand side, I play right-handed. She's lying on her left-hand side, I play left-handed. Simple as that. Guy said, well, what, what happens if she's lying on her back? He said, well, then I'll probably be half an hour late. Well, that part of the story is not true. The rest of the story is dead true. But Titanic Thompson, it's believed that Disney have got the rights to uh, make a movie about his life story, which will be a fantastic movie. He was a wonderful character, and if you ever get a chance to get his book, which is available, you should get it. It's really a fun read.